have you ever seen a big ferocious crocodile before? Likely I haven't, but I know a cute friendly one. It's my croc loaf, a favorite of kids. It makes a great main dish for them, a fish and vegetable loaf in a crispy pastry shell. Would you like to know more? Let's get started. Firstly, make the show press pastry from scratch. It's very quick and easy, you'll see. Butter, cold from the fridge, and flour. Put the flour in a food processor with a metal blade and add the diced butter. Instead of show crust pastry, you could use bread or pizza dough, or puff pastry if desired. Now process. until breadcrumb-like, so the butter and the ice-cold water will be better incorporated into the dough. Quickly bring the dough together, then knead on a wet surface. Show crust pastry has a high butter content, so you should work in a cool environment. In summer, you can keep the bowls in the fridge, including the metal blade. OK, the dough is smooth. Now pat it flat, wrap in clean film and place in the fridge to set. While the dough is cooling, boil the potatoes with the skin on. Wash and add to cold salted water, cover with a lid and cook for at least 30-40 minutes, testing for doneness with a toothpick. Now, sauté the peas and carrots in a pan, cut into very small cubes. salt and a few thyme leaves. Cook the vegetables until soften, adding a little hot water if necessary. While they're cooking, Chop the cut. Use deboned fillets. Cut first into strips, then into small cubes. And chop it up with a knife. I'm using cod, but you can use your favorite, hake, monkfish, sole. The cod is ready. Move on to the bread. I'm using rustic bread. Remove the crust, cut into cubes, and process until fine crumbs form that help absorb the excess moisture and keep the mixture together. Stale bread is fine as well.
That's all I need for the loaf mixture. Pass the potatoes through a riser. Into a bowl. The skins remain in the riser. Add the carrots and peas and the cuts. All the ingredients should be pretty dry. Grated cheese, grated nutmeg, pinch of thyme, pinch of salt. Lastly, the breadcrumbs. And mix to blend. The resulting mixture should be firm and dry, so you can add more breadcrumbs if needed. The filling mixture is ready. It's time to assemble. Roll up the dough to a thickness of 1 8 of an inch, about 20 inches long by 12 14 inches wide. Form the mixture into a loaf shape and place in the middle of the rectangle, leaving more space at one end for the crocodile space. Using a fluted pastry wheel, cut the dough into strips at an angle, a couple of inches wide. Five or six strips are fine on both sides. Fold one strip over the filling. Do the same on the other side, like a plate. Continue in this way, alternating from side to side. The filling is encased in pastry. Now shape the crocodile's head. Fold into a triangle. Trim the excess dough. Press down to flatten and let the filling come out so that it fills the head. Fold over to cover the filling and form a triangle. Cut off the tip of the head and shape into a square. Then roll a piece of dough into two bowls for the eyes. Press an indentation into the center and place on the crocodile's head. Next, the crocodile's tail. Cut the dough like this. And here's the tail. Move on to the feet. Cut out four squares from the remaining dough. Cut first into trapezoids. Then, cut off small triangles to resemble the crocodile's claws. In this way. Repeat to make four feet, then transfer the croc loaf to a parchment lined baking tray. Arrange the feet, then brush the pastry with a beaten egg. for a golden and shiny finish.
Now the most complicated part. Snip the dough with the tips of a pair of scissors to create a crocodile skin effect. It's very realistic, isn't it? Bake the crock loaf in a static preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And while it is baking, let's see together the ingredients needed for this recipe. Ingredients for the show crust pastry. Just over 3 cups of flour, half a cup of cold butter, just over half a cup of ice cold water. For the filling mixture, 1 pound of cod, half a pound of potatoes, 3.5 ounces of carrots, 2 third cup of peas, 1.5 cups of stale breadcrumbs, half a cup of grated cheese, 1 pinch of grated nutmeg, 1 pinch of salt, 2 sprigs of thyme, a little extra virgin olive oil. For brushing, 1 egg. Don't worry, the crock loaf won't bite anyone. Just serve it and surprise your guests with this main dish. The kids will enjoy eating fish and vegetables for once. Cook it yourself and let me know if you impressed everyone.